In this video, I'm going to go over the Motion Wi-Fi Hub and how to add it to your internet with your device. I'm going to be using an iPhone in this video, but the Android app should work pretty much the same as the one that is on iPhone. So first, we have the Motion Wi-Fi Hub here. We have it plugged in and we see a red solid and a red solid, which means that it is plugged in and powered on and that it is not connected to anything right now. Just a quick tour of the device really quick. We do have um, the pairing button that we will get to later. And then in the middle is a reset button that's inside there. So if you ever are having problems with your Wi-Fi hub and need to reset it, you would use something like a paper clip to stick in there for like five to 10 seconds and it will reset the device. And now we're going to go into our iPhone and I have the app downloaded, which is, it's a black icon and it has an M on it and it's called Motion Blinds Wi-Fi in the Apple App Store and also in the Android uh, Google Play Store. It's called Motion Blinds Wi-Fi. So the first thing we're going to do before going into the app is go into the settings and we are going to make sure that we are on a 2.4 gigahertz dedicated network. That is the most important thing here. You can see that I have other networks I can connect to here that are five gigahertz, but I am connected to the dedicated 2.4 gigahertz network. Our motion Wi-Fi hub will not connect to a Wi-Fi network that is five gigahertz or um, giving off both five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz at the same time. It has to be only 2.4 gigahertz dedicated. So I am connected to it on my iPhone. Now I'm gonna go into the app and we see here that I already have a location called My House. Um, you're, when you first open the app, you're gonna make an account with Coolice and then you're gonna make a location. So yours is gonna be there. It might be named something different. So we are going to go to add the hub. We are gonna first go up to these three dots right here. We're gonna press that and then we're gonna see settings. So we're gonna press settings. And we can see my account is there, my house is here, and then other things are here. So we're gonna press my house under location settings. And we're gonna see here where it says add bridge. So we're gonna press add bridge. Now we have two devices here that we can choose from. Obviously ours is this first one, so we're gonna click that. And it says, please make sure the bridge is powered on and connect your mobile device with the network you want to connect your bridge with. We already have done that. We have the iPhone connected to the 2.4 network and the bridge is powered on. So we're going to press next. And now it's going to bring us to a page where it's showing the name of the Wi-Fi that we are connected to on our phone. And um, it's going to ask us to enter the password here for that Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, something that I want to mention about before we move forward about the password is that you have to really make sure that you are putting in the absolute correct password. Some passwords have a bunch of uppercase letters or items or exclamation points and numbers and everything. And the app will always let you continue even if you put in the wrong password. So it is very important that you put in the the absolute correct password at that point, because if you put in something wrong, like a wrong uppercase or lowercase, it will let you continue all the way to the end of the connection, but then it will just cancel at the end and fail, and it won't tell you why. So it's very important that the password is put in absolutely correctly. So we have that done, and now we get to this next page that says, find the setup button on the back of the bridge and hold for about two seconds until the middle light flashes purple. So we're gonna do that. We have the setup button is this one right here, not the one that's inside here. So we're gonna hold that in for about two seconds. And we see the purple light come on right there. So now we can put that back down. The purple light is flashing. Okay, so we have that. Now we can press next. And now we're gonna see here, it's telling us to go back to the home screen, open our settings and go to the Wi-Fi, and select where it says motion in our Wi-Fi. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go to our home screen go into our iPhone settings. We're in the Wi-Fi and we see motion popped up right there. So now we're gonna click motion. We added to it. We're gonna go out of settings, back into the Wi-Fi app. And now you're gonna see a countdown is gonna start immediately. 
So we're gonna let that go. And we should see any second now, it should connect. And there we go, we have the solid blue light there. So that means that it did connect, but we're just gonna wait for it to confirm here. And there it goes. So now it says that it added successfully. So we're gonna save the bridge. Now it's gonna ask us for a name for the bridge. So I'm just gonna name this one, just bridge, done, operation successful. So now we have that there and the bridge is added to our home. So now before we go back from this page, I do want to mention that if you have your account signed into your phone and you want maybe a spouse or a child or someone who's living in your home to also be able to control your blinds, there is a button here. Again, we're in the settings of the app. You're gonna go to your location, my house, and then you're gonna see down here, add a user. So you can add a user. The um, That person you wanna add will download this app to their phone, make their own Coolis account, and then you will put their email that they used right here to be able to add them. Okay, so now we have the bridge connected and we have our location and we wanna add a shade. So I have a motor here and we're back on the app here. So we are gonna go to blind up here. And then you see on the bottom of the app, you have a little plus button. So we're gonna press that plus button. And then depending on the product you have right here, I have a roller shade. So I'm gonna click roller blind, but you have different options you can choose here depending on your product. So we're gonna press roller blind. And now you're gonna see it's gonna bring up a page that says, now this picture, it's a little outdated. It doesn't look like what the newer style of the motors look like because we have two buttons here. But um, basically what it's telling you to do is put the motor into pairing mode and then press pair. So what we're gonna do is with this motor, you have two buttons here, th this gray button and then the circle clear button. So the circle clear button is the correct button to press. That is the pair button. So we're gonna do a quick press there and the motor is gonna start jogging continuously. That means that it is in pair mode. So now we can come back to the app. We can press pair. Another countdown is going to come up. And then we will wait for that to succeed. And there we go. Add it successfully. You press next to save it. And then you can see that the, shape, the motor will stop um, jogging on its own once you press uh, next there. So now what we can do on this page is we can name the motor. So let's say this is going into my living room uh, big window, let's say. So I'll name it living room big window because maybe I have a, a smaller window in the same living room. Um, you have that there. You have it connected. Then on this page, you see we can reset the top, bottom, or set a favor position if we want also. But let's just say we're done here. So now we have that blind paired. Now, you notice I named it living room, big window, but uh, we don't have a room here. We just have blinds. If you add more, they will just all come up here. So now what we can do is we can add a room. So we go to room, add, and let's name this living room, done. And let's say the pay, and let, we can pick a picture for this. So let's just, let's just pick that done so now we have a room added we have a living room added okay so now if i want to add a blind to here i can go into it i can press the plus button at the bottom add an existing blind or add a new blind so let's say add existing blind and then you can see all my blinds that i've added so far and i add the one that i want done successful so now we have so now we have our all our blinds here if we added all of them and then we have our room, and then we have the blind that's in that room. And we could have multiple rooms here. So now we have the room, and you see when we go in, we see all the blinds that we have the one here, but we can, if we add more, they would all show up here. And if we add them here, and then you see that there's controls on the bottom that you can raise or lower all the blinds in that room at the same time together. Now, the next thing I wanna show is a scene. This is something that you can set up for your blinds that you can like tell Siri to do. Um, you would go to scene up here, press plus, 
let's say I want to name this sunrise. Let's say I want to make the picture a sun rising, add blinds. So we have all our blinds here or the rooms. So we'll just add the one blind that I've added. And you can see here how you want to have your blind be. So I'm not going to test this out because I don't have the blind up in brackets. So, but you can basically move it to wherever you would want it. So the scene I'm trying to make is sunrise for in the morning when the sun comes up. So let's say I want all my blinds to raise on this scene. So I would move the slider all the way up or in the middle or somewhere like that. Done, done, and now done. And then now what we can do is we can either, we can either play this scene whenever we want, or you can see in the settings, we can add this scene to Siri so that like whenever you say, hey Siri sunrise to your phone, it will raise all the blinds that are in that scene. Now, if you want to set up something that your blinds will just do on your own that you don't have to tell them to do, you're going to go to timer. You're going to press the plus button up down here. And here you can see that you can either do just a blind timer for like one blind at a time. Or you can set up a scene timer, which will take the scene that you made and all the blinds that you added to it and put it on a timer. So let's say let's first try a blind timer so let's just say name let's again name this just sunrise done so we want it to operate at sunrise and let's say i only want it for the weekdays so i'm gonna i'm gonna deselect saturday and sunday so only the weekdays are there and then i'm gonna pick the blind that i want so i'm gonna pick my living room big window that's here i'm gonna tell the app where i want it to go so i want it to open all the way done and done and that's going to set up that timer now so now we have that sunrise timer for the work days for every weekday so if i don't want to go one by one with each blind and let's say i already made a scene uh, with all the blinds in it that i want them all to raise all like all together and let's say i want to make a sunrise timer now so that all of those blinds raise i'm going to go to add add a scene timer I'm going to say, again, I'll just say sunrise again, or I already have that name, so I'll just say sunrise one, sunrise, and then take away Sunday and Saturday again. I only want the weekdays, and then I'm going to add that scene there because that scene already has all the blinds added to it that I want to rise up. So now I'm telling it now, I make that timer, and now for that timer, Whenever the sunrise happens, wherever you're located, all those blinds that were put into this scene will rise at that time. The last thing I want to show you is um, how to connect the blinds and the Wi-Fi hub to things like Alexa or Google Home. Um, so what you're going to do is once you have this added, all your blinds added, everything like that, you're gonna go back to the main screen. So this is the main screen. Right now we're in your location. This is the main screen. You're gonna press again those three dots at the top, okay? You have settings there, settings, and you are gonna see your location here, but we're not gonna go there. You're gonna see if you scroll down, you have third-party connections. So you're gonna click that, and here is where it's gonna show you all these things like Alexa, uh, Google Assistant, IFTTT, smart things, and then Siri also. So let's say you want to add it to Alexa. You just click that, and then there's going to be a link here that you are going to press. Once you press this link, it's going to bring you to the proper uh, place in your phone where you can connect the Wi-Fi hub in your blinds to Alexa. Same thing with Google, and same thing with everything else here.